Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll use Excel services to add a graph to the sales department homepage. I'm going to go over to that site now, and as you see, the sales site looks good, but of course there should be a graph here. What is a sales team site without a graph? So I'm going to start by opening an Excel sheet that I have on my desktop here. Let's see, computer, desktop, open there, bicycle sales. And here, here I have some numbers, and I'm going to summarize this information now by inserting a pivot table, and it's going to be based on the table 1, which is the one where all my sales are, and here is now the pivot table 2. The, I'm pointing out these names of these objects because those are useful when you're working with the web part later. Now I'm just going to insert the information here, I'm going to drag the profit into values, and I'm going to change the name of that to be just profits and then I'm going to add the um, line total to values 2 and change the name of that to sales and then I'm going to change the formatting so that it's the standard dollars here and then I'm going to add some grouping and just add the branch name under there Okay. I'm going to insert a graph here, insert, chart graph, 3 d pie looks nice, there, and then I can add the color as a filter, and um, remove the title here, isn't really needed. Now I'm just going to go and see that this chart name is chart2, and then now I'm going to save this to SharePoint. So I'm going to save as, and I'm going to browse. So I'm going to take the address here to my site, and that's this, of course. That's the site I want to have. I'm just going to copy that link now, and then paste that up here. Remove the trailing S there, and now browse into that site. And I'm going to get a list of all the document libraries where I can save my Excel file. And I'm going to save it in Documents, and Bicycle Sales is it good name. Now it's uploading to SharePoint and very soon it should be there. So I'll go over there and look in my documents here. And there are my bicycle sales. Now on the home page of the sales site here I'm going to go in and edit the page I'm going to try to put the cursor before the documents here. I actually don't need the documents here, so I can just go ahead and remove that. Delete. And now I'm going to insert a web part. And the one I need here is under Business Data. And do Excel Web Access Web Part. If you don't see this one, that's most likely because this is only part of the enterprise license of SharePoint. 2013. And there I'm going to open the tool pane. This is exactly the same thing as clicking up here, going into edit web part. And now I'm going to browse to the workbook here. It's in my sales site he down here. In my documents, that's where I uploaded it. You see this, I get to select from the entire site collection here. And I select the bicycle sales and insert them. Regretfully, I don't get to select the um, named item here, so I just have to type it. And that's why I pointed out the name of the objects before. So I'm just going to select chart 2, and then I'm going to select OK there. And there's my chart. And now if I want to make this uh, slightly more beautiful, I could remove this uh, whole Excel uh, thing here and just have the graph. Yeah, let's go through that. But that's just a bit of icing on the cake. The task is done. We have a chart on the site homepage. But to tidy it up a bit, I'm going to uh, show no toolbar. And also, I'm going to go in under appearance here and remove the chrome. And click on OK. And for now, we actually don't need that snippet here, so I can remove that make more space for my graph. And save. 
there we go and as you see now I have the full pivot table interaction so I can sort these things I can filter so if I only want to see some specific values I can select which colors I want to see so I want to see only the sales of multicolored items here and let's scroll down and click OK there and as you see the information does change a bit here oh, we only have blue clothing that makes sense all right that concludes this demonstration and we have completed all these steps Thank you for watching this demonstration.